Okay guys, what we have here is kind of an unusual unboxing of the EOS RP. That's the Canon EOS RP. And the reason it's a little unusual is because I'm actually using a Canon EOS RP to record this. By the way, I also have a Rode VideoMic Pro Plus on top of the Canon EOS RP to do this recording. Now, the reason I have an EOS RP there <laughs> and a brand new EOS RP right here. I'm not keeping both of them, but the one you're watching this on was $12.99 on Amazon. It included, as does this one, the 24 to 105 f4 to 7.1 image stabilizing lens, the RF lens, an awesome lens. Problem is it was $1,299 about three weeks ago on Amazon, and now it's $999 for the exact same setup including the lens. You can buy the body itself for just $8.99. You can get a ring adapter to put EF or EFS lenses on there, but basically then what they're saying is for $100 more, you can get the RF 24-105 to 105 lens, which I can tell you is going to be an awesome lens. So why not spend the $9.99 and, and get the full package there? But that's an incredible deal, a full frame camera for $9.99. It'll probably even get cheaper uh, later on. I know Canon's coming out with a lot more uh, full frame cameras. I think that's why this one dropped in price so much. But uh, I've never had a full frame camera, only had the TI series, T3Is, T7Is. So this is basically just a hair more than a T7i. It's ridiculous, and it's a full-frame camera. So, yeah, it is ridiculous. You need to go out and get this camera instead of a, a, an APS-C sensor. By the way, all the videos you see, I will point this out up front, all the videos you see from last year talk about this camera not doing the 24 frames per second at 1080. It does the 24 frames per second. I'm filming at 30 frames per second. I dabbled with 24. I know it's cinematic and all that. It just didn't it didn't seem right to me. It seemed a bit fuzzy. It just didn't seem right. So I think I like the 30 frames per second a little better. So I am filming this on 30 frames per second, but it will do the 24 if you need it. I don't need 4K, don't care about 4K video. So don't even talk to me about 4K video, whatever. I bought this for a full frame camera. I can do some great video on it, video that I need anyway. And um, it, it's a nice camera. I like it. It's, it's chunky. It, it's just a good camera. I've got some accessories that we're gonna talk about to go along with it. But first of all, Let's get to the unboxing, shall we? I'm not gonna do a full blown, complete unboxing. It's just, it's a box with a camera in it and it has a lens. So, uh, got our sheet of paper here. We've got the uh, nice thick, does anybody read these anymore? Do you use the, I mean, don't, don't most people use the internet now? Anyway, okay, so uh, comes with the charger, plug-in charger. Comes with a battery. I don't need these at the moment because I already have three of them, and I'll tell you about that in a minute. Comes with a strap. Won't need this. I bought another strap. I'll show a hip strap. I'll show you that in a second as well. And then, of course, comes with the This is the camera itself. The lens is bigger than the camera. Okay, so comes with the camera, which you see right here. Nice, stocky, I like it. So you see, basically, you can put it all the way out there and this thing will turn, rotate. So there you go, you have it for that. Um, this is great when you want to, uh, uh, say like you've got your, of course you've got your lens on here and you want to get way low, like down street level, do some reflection shots, you go way down, all you got to do is look down, you don't have to get down there on the ground with it, so uh, that's pretty cool. Um, there you have it. Okay, so that's the camera. If you've owned a Canon, there's not much to be said. The menu, everything is about the same. I'm going to make a video on the menu. You need to use the My Menu feature on here and build up uh, four or five, six things that you go to on a regular basis. It's real simple to do and I'll show you how to do that. But an awesome camera, full frame camera, can't beat it, 999. 
with the lens. And by the way, I keep catching myself looking over at the viewfinder there, so that's why I keep looking over that way. But it's great for vlogging and doing things like this, but it does detract. You've got to teach yourself, don't look over there, look there. Anyway, here's the lens. Awesome lens. RF 24 to 105, F4 to 7.1. When you're at the 24, when you're wide open at 24, you can go uh, at F4. As soon as you start cranking it out though and extending it, it'll start going F4.5, 5.6, and it gets out to 7.1 at about 80, 85 millimeters. That's okay. If you're in a studio, that's fine. If you're outside landscape, that's fine. Maybe at low light at night, it might not be the greatest thing, but um, come on, whatever. Pop that off. I don't like to leave this cap off too long, dust things. I have dust in the house even. So I always try to make it like it's a quick, you know, as soon as you do it, throw that sucker on there. Almost dropped that lens and trying to be too quick. Okay, pops right on there. This is cool. This is very cool. Now, you see this pinky down here? I've got a, got a solution for that. Okay, so that's everything in the box. That is the unboxing. That's all you get, but my gosh, awesome. However, got a little remote control here. We'll get back to this in just a second. Look at this. This is, and I've got it written here, I've got to look. It's a DSTE Pro Wireless Remote Control. This is specifically for the EOS RP and it is $76 on Amazon. I think I, I just looked though, I think they're out of stock of these, but there's a lot of knockoffs just like this. I think the DSTE is just a, a, another name of, of many names that they, they make these for, uh, but it was only like 76 bucks. It came also with this little shutter release, which is cool and very usable. And it also came with, um, I don't have it here. It came with um, a, a, two batteries. Okay, you've got to have more than one battery. Okay, it came with two batteries. So now I've got three. And it, well, I've got four now because I've got, well, now I've got to send it back. So I've got three batteries. And that's really all you need. You put two in this sucker. Will that focus? Get out of here. Okay. And uh, what you do is... Take that off. There's a little clip here. You just pop that right off. Put this in your box. Put this in your camera box. As an example, I'm sending my old one, my three week old one, back to Amazon because it was $12.99. This is $9.99. I already got this one. Went to Best Buy and picked it up. Sending the other one back. And thank goodness I saved this. So in the box it goes. Okay. Now you've got a hole here. This is where your, your SD card goes and your battery clip. Now I'm going to talk about this SD card here in a second. All this, you take this, slide it right up there, screws on. This is a tight fit. 76 bucks. You get the extra two batteries, you get the remote control, and you get this now. Look where your pinky goes right there. This is badass. I like this. It's, it's good. Now, you see this here? This little shutter here? You can do this. So, no more of this crap all day long. You get in bed at night, you start feeling that, right? So, boom. You really have to almost get used to doing it. You're this way, now you just go this way. However, one of the little drawbacks to do that, unlike my Canon T3i, battery grip. This one, you've got to use this little thing. It's not a big deal. Plugs in right there. And then there's this little, there's a clip up here. By the way, you do have a microphone input and a headphone jack output. That's awesome. Again, doing a great job with that Rode VideoMic Pro Plus up there. I really love that thing. I have the uh, EOS RP set to manual audio input, audio, auto will clip 
and, and, it, and it does that where it gets loud and then real quiet, then loud and real quiet. Don't like that, put it on manual, and I pulled it down to about 50%, something like that. Um, not, not, you just don't want to go into the orange if you can help it. Anyway, this, uh, whatever, okay, this is your remote control thing right here, hole. Just plug that in right there. Oops. Okay, so you got that plugged in there. Now, this hangs out, so all you got to do is kind of flip it in there, and it, it's really, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. But, and I don't know if you can see that, I'm sorry. But it's there, and okay now, it'd be great, better if it wasn't, but it is. This thing fits like a glove, it's awesome. Again, this is the DSTE Pro Wireless Remote Control BG-EOS RP battery grip. Get two batteries, the E17s, and um, the dual charger, which is great, gotta have a dual charger, and about 76 bucks. Don't know if it's still on there, look around, you can find them. So, this is our Canon EOS RP with the battery grip with two batteries in it so it lasts a long time, lasts you all day, whatever. Um, this is an awesome camera. You want to go out and get you one of these, especially now for $9.99 with this lens. Just an incredible, incredible deal. A couple things I don't like about it. Everything's not perfect. A couple things I don't like about it. I mentioned earlier, your SD card goes up in there. Hmm. My Canon T3i, it had a little wet door right here, right? Pop that sucker in, pop it out, pop it in the computer. Can't do that with this one. It's got wireless, it's got um, the USB cable. I'm not used to that. <clears throat> you can't get in there. So every time you come back home, pop that off, pop the card out, put it in the computer, put this back pop a card back in, put it back on, and, but look how quick it is though, just righty tighty lefty loosey. Okay, so, and, and it's back on. This thing fits real good. I mean, it's made, it's, it's a snug fit. There's no looseness, there's no weirdness, and as long as you don't <clears throat> tighten this too tight because you have to keep undoing it and doing it. And uh, like I said, this thing works like a champ. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, there you have it, the Canon EOS RP with the RF 24 to 105, F4 to 7.1 lens. I like it. I'm going to use my T3i as a backup. Those things are workhorses. Don't let anybody tell you any different. If you need to pick up a backup camera, pick up a T3i for about 230 bucks or something like that. And those things are awesome. Uh, they use the EF lenses, of course. This uses the RF, but you can use the EF and EFS lenses on here with the adapter. All right, so that's gonna do it for our review of the Canon EOS RP. It's an awesome camera, 999 with the 24 to 105 F4 to 7.1 lens. You can go more expensive. You can go up to a couple grand and get the R. Canon's kind of weird up there though. They're putting out, I think they've got the, the R2, the R6, the R, I don't know what it is. They're putting all kinds of stuff out in that two to $3,000 range. That tells me some of those cameras are gonna start dropping in price, but that's still a little out of my range. So for $9.99, the lens, the camera itself, for an extra $78, you get the grip. So basically $1,100 and, and you've got it right here. This thing I assume is gonna last me a long time. So that's our review and our unboxing of the Canon RP. We've already got some videos on the website. Go check those out. I'm constantly motivated to go out and get some new stuff. Do you wanna see some videos? What do you wanna see? What do you wanna see me do with this thing? We're gonna try some more low light stuff. Um, we'll see how that goes. So let me know what you wanna see. Please like this, give it a subscribe, let me know what you think, and uh, that's going to do it for the video for today. So hopefully you learned something, and hopefully this was of value to you. Appreciate it, guys. We'll talk to you on the next.